Well, good morning, y'all. So this is what my day is going to contain. You see them bushes that hang out there, right there? Those used to be standing straight up. This whole bank right here used to be covered in bushes just like that. As you can see right here, all the bushes have collapsed down. This water is undercutting the bank here. When they put the power in, they cut that tree down. It had no top on it or anything. It was basically just the trunk of the tree and the whole crown had fell out of it. But when they left it laying across that creek right there, that creek right there in Milwaukee down there is a shelf of bedrock. So what the tree has done is it's pushed itself past the edge of the bedrock and, then, and now is undermining right here, creating a deep pool. It's pushed all that gravel up here and now totally altered the current and undercutting this big, huge tree. I've already probably lost in two months probably three foot of dirt out of here. Three foot at least in Milwaukee down there. You can see how it's jammed up in here at the stump of this tree, but these, these trees that are all laying down, those were all standing up. What it's done is it's undercut and they've tipped over now. Um, you see, I, I'll do the dangerous walk. Come on, welcome. Walking. walking down the tree. Mm -hmm. Fall in. So you can see how this current right here, right underneath the tree. This current right here shooting right back underneath the tree here. So it's totally undermining this entire bank right here. Like usually you'd see moss on the on the, on the bank going all the way down to the to the to the water line, to the normal water line. See the normal water line right here? Nothing normal water line right here the moss well, all that moss is all gone right there that whole big chunk of bank fell out of there and it's going to do the same thing right here if you look you can see it's already undermined all this dirt all that moss is gone that bank used to have a slope on it you know it's just cutting right back into there this gravel is just like so fresh it's like Mushy, mushy like there's piles of debris underneath it or something. But look, like that, it shouldn't be mushy like that. Where my feet sink down six, I'm not over here. No mushy. So there, that bank used to. When we look right here, that bank used to come all the way across here at this tree line right here. It has totally taken all that soil out. See all that fresh rock falling down right there? It's totally undercutting all the way back up underneath that bank. So today we're getting the excavator down here. And we're getting this log out of here and we're straightening this creek out. I'm making it so my bank here does not wash away anymore. I know that's the easement road, but I don't want to even have to ask the city or the state or anybody on the Corps engineer to come out here and fix it. It's their responsibility to, but they're going to give me some kind of fix like that crappy crap junk over there that they did. I don't want that. No. So, we're going to get the excavator down here as close as we can. We've got to be very careful. It's like I said, I really don't know what's underneath the gravel. You can see the gra all the gravel just mush. So I gotta be real careful with that excavator, making sure I don't get get her buried down here in the creek, but I gotta get close enough, maybe off of that sandbar coming out here to get a chain around that, yank it this way, to be able to start cutting it up and pull it out of this creek. You know? Like look at this, look at the depth of this hole. I'll walk over here and see the depth on this hole. 
Look, look how big that how deep that hole is. That's where all that stone came from right there. That was never there. I used to kind of freely, I mean, we had a little bit of a curve here. Of course, there was a little bit of an S curve here, but I mean, you can see it on Google Maps, but not like that where it's totally undermining the entire bank. I just got this power line put in. I don't want that big tree to take my power line out. And if that big tree goes down, there's a good fact possibility it's gonna do a domino effect on these trees over here and hit all the power lines. Yeah, let's take a look at what we got going on here. Look how bad that's undermined. All those roots are now exposed. It took three foot of dirt off from underneath that tree. Gotta fix it.